Hey home bakers, it's Jack here at Bake with Jack Dog.co.uk bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And this week I'm going to show you exactly how to change the razor blade on your Bordelais grignette. Roll it! Hello there and welcome back to the Bake with Jack YouTube channel where I share a little bit of my bread making expertise with you every single Thursday. If you get value out of this video and you've never seen my face before, consider clicking subscribe at the end for more of the same. And just before I show you how to safely change the blade on a Bordelais grin, yeah, here's a word from our sponsors. Spoiler alert, uh, it's me. If you've never watched one of my videos to the end before, you may not have heard about the Bake With Jack online shop. The only place you can buy Bake With Jack scrapers, cloths and bits and bobs. And yes, you can even pick up a Bordelais grignette and spare blades there too. Pop by to bakewithjack.co.uk forward slash shop. Cut to the table. Okay, here we are at the table. I've got my Bordelais green, yeah, and I've got my razor blades. I like to use these shark razor blades, partly because there's a shark on the front, it looks properly wicked, but also because uh, it's completely recyclable. The way I see it, blades are blades, but everything here is recyclable. It comes in a cardboard box, the blade itself, and the paper packet is recyclable. There's no little plastic box to dispose of after. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the lid off. I'm gonna leave that there, because I want that later. Now the blade is sharp, people, okay? It's sharp here and it's sharp on the other side. It's not sharp here, it's not sharp here, so we can hold it that way. I don't think I need to say that it's sharp. Please don't cut yourself, please be careful, it's sharp. Now at the top here, there's a little hook. Can you see it? It's just hooked over the back like that. What we've got to do is we've got to pop that off like this, and now these four little dots got to come off too, like this. Be careful, sometimes it falls out at this point. There we go, got him off like that. Right, now, what we, what we can do at this point, right, is check that you can use all four sides of this blade, okay? We can use this end, which has been used, this end has not been used. So if it is the case, you can turn around and pop it back in and use the other sharp sides. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna change the blade anyway. I'm gonna leave that there because it makes it easier to pick it up later. I don't have to scrabble around on a table for it. It's just sitting there nicely, ready to go. When we put our new blade on, we're gonna wanna hook that hook back over the top and we can't do it like this. What we gotta do is slide it up. There's two little dots here, can you see those? I'm gonna use this little gripper thing and push it up. When these are brand new, that's sometimes really hard to do. Uh, but you, what you can do is hold this bit and pull that bit at the same time. Make sure you haven't got a blade in there. Pull that bit at the same time and it should come up really nicely. Now, we're completely loose. Time for the new blade, let's pop him there. Get out a new blade like this, okay? Remember, 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 it's very, very sharp. We're gonna unwrap it, like so. And then what I'm gonna do straight away is swap it for this one. Tricky to do when you're filming. And pop that back in there, and that can go in the recycling. Check how people like to recycle that in your area. You don't wanna cut somebody on the other end. Uh, so double check, but that all's all completely recyclable now, which is wonderful. For the new blade, let's pick him up, pop him in there, onto where the old one was, onto those little dots, like this, yeah, and that's gonna hold it there nicely. Next thing we do, we've got to hook that back over the top, like this, turn it on the side so you can, you can see without falling out, like that, hook it back over the top like that. Now, we're gonna pull this bit down, click, and now that's held on at the top like that. Okay, now I can squeeze it together, Squeeze them dots back together like that, and it's all good to go. Now you can use this bent, or you can use it straight. I quite like using, using it straight at the moment, but you can use it either way, and either way you do, it will fit nicely inside of its top like that. And there you have it. That's how to change the blade safely on a board laser green. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit shaky today. That might have made a few of you a little bit nervous, oh, a little bit tense, oh! but we got away with it, none the less. Make sure you're handling razor blades with safety. Please don't touch the sharp bit. It's sharp. It will slice you and dice you. Seriously, be careful. Make sure you're using both ends of your razor blade to get the most out of it before you throw it away. And when you do throw it away, please dispose of it responsibly. Check at your local recycling centre to see how they like to accept razor blades for recycling to make sure nobody gets hurt. And that's enough lecturing from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and got a value out of it. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button before you go if you haven't subscribed yet. And I look forward to seeing you next week for another bread making tip. See ya.
Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget, if you do need a grenier and extra blades, you can buy them at bakewithjack.co.uk forward slash shop, along with many other Bake With Jack bits and bobs. Walk around your kitchen in a Bake With Jack apron like a legend. See you next week.